Hey, this is Dana with Designs by Nana in the kitchen today. And I, we are going to be, and I say we, meaning my granddaughter and I. She's here for the day and probably trying to stay the, the night too. But whenever she comes, we try to do something. And I got to show you guys something right quick in the midst of all of this. Uh, just happened while I was talking. I gave her a kernel, a popcorn kernel, and I had her throw it in our vegetable oil for our hot water cornbread and it just popped. So what that means is that our oil is now ready to use. So since uh, I have the uh, water boiling and it's not quite ready, I'm going to go ahead and turn this down on low and then I'm going to scoop out that popcorn kernel. But that was just a little piece of a uh, information I wanted to share with you guys that that's a wonderful way to know when your oil is ready to put uh, the food into. So today let me show you all of the things that we have here prepping to uh, make our uh, hot water corn hot water cornbread and so I have a teaspoon of salt here now this I use some Bisquick and this, I've got a couple tablespoons of Bisquick there, but you can use all-purpose flour or whatever. And if I were to use the flour, I would then bring in or add in some baking powder. But since I'm using the Bisquick and it always has a self-rising uh, stuff in it, I won't need that uh, baking powder. I'm also going to be using some butter. And then the vegetable oil I have, will be using is to cook our um, hot water cornbread in. A lot of people like to put have a little sweetness in theirs. I also too, but I use uh, the organic blue gave as my sugar. So that's what I'll be adding into the ingredients here. All right, so we are about ready. Let's see if our um, water is boiling yet. That's going to be very, very, very important that the water is boiling. Uh, you want to have very, very, very hot water, so I'm going to turn that up. And, oh, my granddaughter already came over here and took the popcorn kernel out. You're so smart. What'd you do with it? Took it. Okay, so she took it out. She she to so it. I just wanted you guys to know that that's what happens. So now that you know that the, the oil is ready. All right, so come on, sweetheart. She wants to do a lot of the ingredients so, or, or the working, so I'm going to let her do this. Let's, let's do two cups. This is a two-cupper, so let's fill this up with two cups. Use up the old one first. And we're going to work pretty quickly here. We don't want to just, just fill it up. We don't want to make this a long, drawn-out. Um, then add some more because I had your pop-pop. Buy us some more. And you're just going to... Quickly, we're not going to take all day. People don't have time. Okay. So there we go. Two cups. All right, throw that in there. Now, normally when I'm making this, guys, I don't measure. But because I'm doing it for you, I'm going to measure. All right, I told you there's some salt and some uh, this quick, so we can put that back up. And then I'm going to give her a whisk so that she can whisk, whisk it all together. And uh, here's a whisk, honey. So whisk it all together. Give me that. I'll put that up in the cabinet. All right, mix it really good. All right, now what I'm going to do is that's quite a bit of butter for what we have. Two, one, two. I would put one pat for every for every um, cup and so we did two cups so I'm gonna get a knife here right quick and just break cut that in half and put that in there and just cut that in half and drop it off in there mm -hmm. and put it in there just one okay all right and then mix that up I like to get that little butter flavor in there and then after she gets that all corn, corny mealy looking, <laughs> our hot water will be ready in a minute, and we can get that going. 
See how that looks? Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, and then we're going to pour the hot water in there. And the hot water, what it does is it actually cooks the cornmeal. All right, we're putting that over in the sink. All right, now I don't know if I want to put this in here. Get that butter off the side there. If I want to put this in now or after we start mixing it together. Uh, I'm going to put it in now. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. All right. I'm going to guess that's one, that's two, and that's three. <laughs> How does that sound? I love it. I love it in my coffee and everything. All right, let's go over here. Uh-oh, it's boiling. All right, so since it's boiling, I'm going to turn that off. Then I'm going to turn this back up to, let's give it about five. This is a, a gas stove. Okay, sweetheart. Uh, no, uh, you need a spatula or something to start mixing this up. We're not going to use that strainer. Let's see. Let's see if I can find Here's a good one. Hey, guys. Here we go. Take that put in the sink. Here I come. Put it all together. Okay, let me see if I can switch the camera. There we go. Now the only thing I didn't do was tell you how much that was. Mix it all together. My automatic garbage can. Mix it really, really good. Oh, she's doing good. I'm gonna give you a little bit more. back to get some more water. Watch out. Okay, mix it. Get all of it really, really good. Now, I like mine a little... I'm not going to form balls like a lot of people do, and I'm not going to pat it together and all of that. Mix it really good all over here. I'm going to give you a little bit more water. Because that's just a little stiff for me. All right. Now, she, guys, guess what? My granddaughter's going to have this recipe for the rest of her life. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more in there. These are the kind of things you guys got to do. Get in the kitchen with your kids and your grandchildren. And they'll have these tools especially for the life. One, Especially the ones I like to cook. Right. Now, tell her some of the other things that we've made. They can find on our channel. We made um, spaghetti squash, mm -hmm. which I still love. Still love. Yeah. Because why? Because we did it together and you learned about it. Just keep mixing it. Don't pat it. Just mix it. I want it just a little bit more mushier. Okay. So I should have really measured that water in there, but I would say it's at least two cups of water. I'll probably see. Two and a half. I like it a little more soupy. Okay, I gotta come back. I hit the wrong button and stop. All right, get it all good and and I think that looks about cream like cream a week to me kind of. What you think? Cheesy potatoes. Cheesy potatoes. You think that's what that looks good like? Yeah. Okay, now what we're gonna do is get a big scoop, put it all together in one one pile, and then we're gonna scoop out and scoop it over into the. Um, over into our pan. Okay, let me turn some more light on in here. So we can go over to the stove. Okay, and I'm going to actually take this pan right over and sit it on the stove so it can be near, uh, watch out, near our, uh, near our pan. Oh, get this water, baby. Watch the hot grease. Pull that on off. Okay, put it over in the sink. All right, pour so, it. yeah, just pour it in the sink. All right, and this is hot. This is very hot. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to have her do this part. I'm going to do this part. And you see, see how that looks? Okay, sweetheart, you can come and get the camera now. See that? Be careful because you touch the sides of mine. It, uh, like that. Just zoom it in if you need to. You stay back. This is how I like to make mine. I love this pan because it's big. And where's that spatula at, baby? 
Thank you. Yep. And then sometime, I just want to make them push it down a little bit. So when I get ready to flip them. I just never thought you could deep fry corn, cornbread. You did? No. So you learned something, man. And wait till you taste it. Yeah, I can't wait till I taste it. All right, so that's where we're at. Let's come back in. All right, and so we're going to have to cut this. I'm going to leave this on for it's 2.49. Let's do... Or is it? One minute. I'm looking on this clock right here, 2.49. So in one minute, I'm going to flip them, and then I'll leave it on for another minute, and we want it golden brown. Okay, so hey, so guys. I think you guys can can hang with us for another minute. What you think? Sure. Dia and my granddaughter. So, um, we really don't have a lot to do. Normally, I would say, let's get the kitchen cleaned up. But we actually have already put up everything. We just need to put this stuff up and put that up and put our oil up. Nope, that can stay here. And the butter can go in the refrigerator. And the oil can go up. We just got to really... And here's, yeah, we got to get in there and clean that cabinet out. All right, so is it almost on 350. All right, so now here comes the tricky part when you flip it. So I'm going to give her the camera back and let let her watch. Hold this while I flip it. Yep. Careful. It's got butter on my hands. Mm -hmm. I got butter on my hands. Okay, be careful. Well, on my hands. All right. First time I like to flip it a little sooner. I like to use two things because it's hot. So I and it's it. oil. And I don't want to get any burn. That. And I always, I don't know if she's getting this, but I flip away from myself. Oh, yeah, I'm getting everything. Okay, you remember that? You flip away from yourself, not towards yourself. So you get it under there, flip nice and slow away from yourself. Crispy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and flip away from myself. And one more. And then I'll do the rest of them. And flip away from myself. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Now let's look at the time. 2.48 in real time. No, look at the time. Oh. That's what I'm watching up there. And then in another minute, I'll flip again for 30 seconds. Flip again. And while that's happening, I'll get my paper plate ready with my napkin on it. To um, Oh, this is... Guys, I love this. Look. One. If I hit it, hit it. Then I, oh, don't want it. Guess what? It just died. It just ran out, you guys. Wow. But I love this. It just ran out. But I'll put a new one in. I think we get the one from the bathroom. Nope, I need a new one. Okay. Okay. Time to flip it. Just wanna, I like to keep flipping because never walk away from cooking. It, these are basically kind of like eggs. You don't walk away from eggs. Mm. They cook, they're a fast cooker. Yeah. Just get in the habit. And I've had a habit of walking away from cooking. I've had a habit of walking away from cooking. All right, so after this batch is done, I'm going to finish these up and then we'll come back and um, show you the finished product. Oh, you started, okay, here. Show you this right quick. I love this, love it. Had it for a couple years now. Oh. Back away, baby, so you don't be right up there. Back away. So oh, you, sorry. So you put it in, and bring down some paper, put it up in there, and then I'll suck it back up in there. And then determine if I want one or two, Take off one and go back up. Now, if I wanted to have two come down at one time, I would have cut off two, but I only wanted one. I love it. It's called I N N O V I A. I think I bought it off one of the home shopping networks. And one thing I did wanted to show you right quick before I end it is the importance of using your 
spatula, which I showed you before, and going away from this stuff. Uh, my granddaughter was able to put one in, and she was able to flip one of the other batch that we did. I didn't put her on video for doing that because I just want to make sure when you guys do that that you have your you are right there with them and you have your grandkids you're right there with them helping them so I couldn't video and do her at the same time okay so those are going to be almost done in a second but we can go over here and look at the other ones that we got done and they're pretty they're pretty 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 so out of that batch how many do we get we got one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13. So we got about a good dozen. Yay! So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, bring the camera back to you, honey, so okay. we can both talk at the same time. All right, so this is Grandma and Granddaughter. I'm Dia, and I don't, you notice I didn't say her name, I just call her my granddaughter. Yeah. Because we are on YouTube and the world gets to see this. And maybe in some years from now, she'll look back on this and smile. And then 20 years from now, she'll be doing this with her daughter or son. So as always, be blessed because you are blessed, blessed by the best. By the best. Mm -hmm. Also, look in the description, which is down at the bottom of any of our videos that will give you information um, about what we're doing. And then also uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And always give us a thumbs up. And leave us a comment. We would sure love to answer it for you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.